Welcome. Over the next few days, I know you'll be hearing a lot of individual comments, sound bites from Wichita State's new head baseball coach, Eric Wedge, but we wanted to take this opportunity for a little sit down to give you all a chance to maybe get to know him a little better. So, Eric, welcome. And I think the first question almost has to be, you were in a good position in Major League Baseball, well-respected in the Major League community, very secure. So why? Back to Wichita State. Well, it's, it's simple. It's just my passion for, uh, for Wichita State baseball, but it goes well beyond that. It's, it's the university, it's the city of Wichita, it's even the state of Kansas. Um, you know, I love everything I was able to participate in in professional baseball. I like to do different things. I like different challenges. Uh, last three or four years in the player development system, do a little bit of scouting um, <clears throat> and wearing different hats, uh, whether it be as an advisor or a coordinator. Uh, that was very fulfilling and working with those young people. Um, you know, who are trying to, you know, they aspire to obviously be big leaguers. Uh, but, uh, um, you know, Brett and I talked about it briefly, you know, when, uh, when Gene moved on, whatever, seven years ago, whatever it was, and I was managing Seattle at that point in time, and, you know, he jokingly threw it out there to me, you know, unless you have any interest, you know, we're going to, you know, put a search out there. I said, well, I'm in pretty good shape right now. I imagine the Seattle Mariners, so I'm not right now, but it did like plant a seed in my head. I, I wonder, because I know since you left here 30 years ago as a player, you've ba been back on a number of occasions mm -hmm. for events and things, and I'm sure just walking in here had to rekindle a lot of special memories, but what about now walking in here and going, I I'm back, this is where I'm gonna be, this yeah. is my program. That's different, uh, it's exciting though. I tell you what, I mean, I've got a, I got to hop in my step. I'm excited about it. I think that's the way it should be when you enter into a new, you know, a new job or a new uh, challenge or opportunity. Um, when it comes to Wichita, Wichita State baseball, it's just something that it's 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 got to be inside you. And it's got to be a part of um, who you are, and uh, and it's just never left me. And uh, it was the people that came before me, as, as players and staff members, people I played with, and the people afterwards. And it's not easy. It's probably harder today than it's ever been to go out and win a college baseball game or to win a tournament or whatever it may be. And I respect that. So, but, uh, but I also understand what it takes to get those things done. And uh, I'm looking forward to that challenge and trying to get things, you know, heading in the right direction. I was going to ask you this, and you just led me into it, what you just referred to. There is a large fraternity, even family out there, of former players, people who love Shocker mm -hmm. baseball, who have followed it for years. And I think they all have kind of a common concept of what Shocker Baseball is. In your mind, what's at the core of what is Shocker Baseball? Well, toughness, uh, learning, um, collaboration, um, you know, character on and off the field, uh, understanding, you know, what it takes to, to be part of a family. And, you know, there's different families within a family. I mean, with a baseball team, you know, you got your starting pitch and your relief pitchers, your infield, your outfield, your offense, your defense. Um, you know, with in your baseball program, <clears throat> you know, you got your coaches, you got your players, you've got your fans, you've got your, um, you know, your, your donors, the people that have gone here before and people that are boosters and just excited about it. You know, then you, you know, you take that out to the athletic department, you take that out to the university, you take that out to the city of Wichita. Um, let me tell you something, with all the uh, notices I've had and people have contacted me via text and emails and phone calls. I mean, there's a ton of passion out there. I mean, legitimate passion for Shocker Baseball. So, you know, it's not something I take lightly, you know, but, uh, but it's sure as hell not something I'm afraid of either. So uh, I'm excited to get the ball rolling. And speaking of that, obviously there's a lot to do, no time to do it in the manner I know you would like to. So mm -hmm. what are kind of your priorities? For, what are the first things you feel like you have to get done? Established culture, <clears throat> expectations, um, understanding of what we're trying to do here and what we're going to do here <clears throat> knowing that it rarely happens on my timetable your timetable their timetable you know it's uh, that's something that uh, you know you just can't script that out but ultimately if you're doing what you believe in and you stick to your guns it'll happen in time uh, but you have to surround yourself with strong people and you have to make sure as a leader that they understand that and they believe in what you're trying to do because there's going to be still some dark days ahead and that's when you have to be at your toughest. That's when you have to be at the core of who you are. And, uh, and we'll do that. Um, and then we'll take a series of steps. Um, but, uh, 
but it takes, it'll take a little bit of time. You mentioned good people around you. I'm sure hiring a staff yeah. is a major priority. And I, and I know this is going to be difficult because I know you've heard from people that you, you care about yeah. a lot and, and respect a lot that, that at some point you're going to have to say no to them. Yeah, without a doubt. I'm going to have to say no to almost all of them. I mean, because there's a ton of people that I've, you know, I love and care about and um, have a great deal of respect for that, uh, um, that won't be able to be a direct part of this. Uh, but, uh, you know, with leadership it comes accountability, responsibility, and, and you've got to make tough decisions. So, you know, everything we do is going to be, you know, for the right reasons. Um, and that's for, you know, uh, Wichita State, uh, you know, the University Athletic Department, and obviously the, the baseball program. Um, and it's not this person and that person, you know, it has to blend. You know, it has to make sense. And we have to carry ourselves as such to where the kids are watching us and they're like, all right, that's the way we're supposed to act. That's the way we're supposed to do it. Um, and that's important. That's important. And um, <clears throat> we're going to make our mistakes. I'll make more mistakes than anybody, but we'll stand up to it and we'll be better for it and they'll be better for it. And does that ultimately come down to your instincts and just sitting across the desk from somebody eye to eye and saying, is this the guy I need to make that happen? Well, it has to, there has to be face time involved without a doubt. I mean, the first thing I did was just try to be respectful of the, you know, the, you know, the current staff. So I've already met with them as a group. I've, I've talked to them individually. <clears throat> I've been very honest with them, very transparent with them. And the only thing I told them, I said, listen, the only thing I do know is that I have not made any decisions yet. That's the one thing uh, I can tell you that I, I do know. And, and that's true. So wide open. You know, with the current staff, wide open with everybody else who's interested. Um, and then I have to have start having conversations. And uh, um, it's not going to just be me. Ultimately, I'll make the decision. But uh, there's a lot of people out there that I trust, and I trust their opinion. Um, but in the end, we're going to do what's best for soccer, baseball, rest assured. Same token with returning players, players that have yeah. signed letters of intent and so forth. Try to get with them as soon as possible and so forth. Yeah, I still have to sift through a great deal. I have to have more conversations with people that, that know the players better than I do. But yeah, I, I fully plan to reach out and talk to them. I've talked to a few of them already. Um, you know, most of the kids have scattered now You know, for summer ball. Uh, there are some here. Uh, <clears throat> you know, we have to manage our roster. I mean, that's a professional term, but we have to manage our roster. Um, and numbers are important to me. And what I mean by that is to be more efficient with our numbers. We fully plan to do that. Uh, so, you know, there'll be uh, a bit of an adjustment phase here, or a correction here early on. Uh, but uh, how we're going to do that, I'm not 100% sure yet. Uh, but there are people out there that know a hell of a lot more than I do about how it works <clears throat> that I'll lean on. And, uh, you know, but that'll take a little bit of time. And what about, I mean, a thing that people would obviously bring up, you've been in professional baseball all these mm -hmm. years, what about establishing a recruiting base at the college level? And yeah. are you going to depend on somebody who has some background there and that sort of thing? Well, I've been fortunate to meet uh, a number of different people, um, you know, in the scouting world, but also in the professional world, but also even in college uh, you know, over the years. You know, people have reached out to me, I've reached out to them. So, you know, I've already started, you know, making some of those phone calls. Uh, but ultimately, we're going to trust us. You know, we're going to hit the, hit the pavement. We're going to get out there and see players. Um, you know, we're going to respect the lists and this showcase and that. But uh, we're going to go and get people that fit Wichita State baseball. Um, you know, you know, I don't care if they're one of the top 100 or not. That doesn't mean anything to me. What well, does mean something is that everybody understands what we stand for, and what we're all about, uh, and that everything we do is going to be foundation based. If we if it's no, if it's the number five kid in the country and he wants to come here and he's a good fit for us, then we're all for it, you know. But you know if he's number five hundred in the country, same thing, you know. So ultimately, it's it's all shapes and sizes, and uh, you know there are certain areas of the body that are important to me, and we want to make sure that they exemplify those things when they get here. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, uh, and you've kind of answered this already, but just to, to reiterate what you would like the fan base to know about uh, what you want this program to be. Well, I think people are feeling something in the air right now, and that's pretty exciting. You know, and, and good for Wichita State, good for the city of Wichita. You know what, and good for every player and, and staff member that have come here, you know, you know, since Gene started his program back in the late 70s. Um, <clears throat> but ultimately, I, I think that you know, Wichita State became Wichita State baseball with the identity, you know, that, that they created over a number of years and the way each and every class came in and just passed it on down, all right? 
that we're not too far removed from that. You know, uh, you know it's been tough the last you know few years, but you know peaks and valleys. You know whether it be business or people or sports, whatever it happens. And you know so now we need to make the appropriate adjustments. We need to be respectful of everything's happened here, whether it be last year or the last six or seven years or the last forty years. Uh, learn from it and, and be better for it. And uh, but ultimately, you know, as we move forward, we're going to, have to establish our own identity, taking the best, right, from the old, and you know, encompassing the new, and keep pushing forward. Eric, thank you. Right. Eric Wedge, Wichita State's new baseball head coach.